What is up, Lumberman? And Stansgate fans, there's everyone here finally back again with another video, another news video, so it's not a review, so if that, you know, isn't interesting to you, I'm sorry. Uh, like the season right now we're living in, it is a very dry and warm period for Steinskate, for Science Adventure, and I've said that every time I make a video these days because it is the truth. Now, recently, not today, but recently we've gotten a new update for new Science Adventure stuff, for new Steinskate stuff. So let's talk about that. So if you've seen my last video, you know that right now we're going through that 10th anniversary collab special with Science Adventure, which pretty much if you haven't seen it, it means that Science Adventure or Steinsgate had its 10th year anniversary, I think last year. So what they're doing is to make that a more of a special celebration, they're doing 10 different little collabs or specials, which includes stuff like the movie and stuff like Project 6 from the 10, because we're not even through all 10 yet, they're still working on them. I think the newest one is Project 6. And Project 6 is really interesting because Project 6 is a collaboration with Sanrio. So stuff like Cinema Roll and Hello Kitty is now suddenly working together with Steinskate, with Okabe and stuff like that. So what they did when they started out that project, Project 6, is they made a little collaboration uh, visual novel thingy that you can watch. It's more of a video than a game, but it's the same concept. It's like a, it's like a Steinskate visual novel, but then they throw in uh, Sanrio characters, they throw in Hello Kitty and goofy stuff happens, and it's apparently an official timeline as well. So it is canon in a sense, which is interesting. But, I thought that was the end of this collaboration, which it isn't. I was scrolling on Twitter, which I barely do because I can't stand Twitter, but I am following science adventure stuff and cool artists and stuff like that. So I saw someone post a picture of the St Steinskate Sanrio collab that was on a wall or on a screen in Japan. And not only that, they were advertising from, if I'm correct, they were advertising something else, not the video, not the little visual novel thingy. So what's happening? Well, it's really simple actually, but it's really exciting is that they're actually going to start selling merchandise. Sanrio Steinsgate merchandise. And that's odd, but also satisfying. Now I know that most of you probably don't care because it's not real Steinsgate stuff and it's all just cute, Wait, stuff, but let's look at the website real quick, because if you go to the website right now and you go to that Project 6, they have a little page set up for this collaboration, for this merchandise collaboration. So, got my phone, let's look at this together. So if you get on the site, first thing you're going to see real big is the collaboration, the Steinsgate Sanrio collaboration logo, the drawing, which is drawn by Hyuke, which means it's absolutely gorgeous. And then there's another tab to the right. If you press that tab, which is really interesting, you see a picture of Steins Gate X Sanrio characters. Choose your past, change the future. But what's more interesting is the drawing, because what you can see, which should be over here, I think, is Kurisu, Mayuri, and Okabe. But they're not their normal selves. No, they are wearing some kind of Sanrio cosplay, I guess. Which is funny because you can see Kurisu with the Hello Kitty uh, cosplay. You can see Mighty with their cinema roll cosplay, which is very, very fitting. And then Okabe, which that little guy, I don't know his name. I, I'm not very too familiar with the Samuel characters. I know them all by looks, not by names, unfortunately. But that's also a very fitting character for Okabe, which is funny because next to them, you have said Sanrio character dressing up like the Steinsgate character. Now, if you look below that, it says... Fancy Goods Lab on sale and Animate only. Now Animate is a very awesome building in Akihabara, which I've been to a couple times, where they just sell a lot of anime, manga, stuff like that. Now last time I went there, there was a Steins Gate Zero pop-up shop when, there, when the Zero anime just released. And I guess they're doing a similar thing now, but they're just doing Sanrio Steins Gate stuff. Now if you scroll all the way down, you can see the goods logo or the Fancy Goods Lab logo, which I think looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it's a really nice drawing. Um, what kind of merchandise can you expect? Honestly, I don't know, because if I'm looking at this site, 
and I'm looking at everything they have. You can see the prologue, which is just the little four episodes they made. You can see shop information, so when it's starting to when it's ending. So it starts the 23rd of the seventh month and it ends the 9th of the eighth month. So that means there's just a few days that you can actually get these or buy these. And I hope that I can get my hands on these because these will be really cool to review. But that begs the question, what are they even selling? To be honest, if you look on the site, they're not showing any of the merchandise just yet. And that's probably because it hasn't been released because it's releasing next month. However, what I'm expecting is very simple things. If you look at anime merchandise in general and also recent Stanscape merchandise, what they're selling nowadays is those little uh, plastic keychains with a little drawing in it and just simple stuff like that. Now that is not that interesting, but from my perspective where I can actually get something Stanscape related and make an interesting review so that you guys don't actually have to buy trash like that. I don't mean to say trash, but it's not again the kind of merchandise you definitely want to have. It's it's very exciting for me. I am going to say if it if I am correct and it is just those little plastic PVC keychains and stuff, I'd be a little bit disappointed. I want more than just buttons or or keychains and stuff like that, because we have too many of those. I want more plushies, I want more figures, I want more props and stuff like that. And you guys know that if you watch my videos, what I'm most excited about is the figures, it is the upas, it is the stuff like that. So I really hope they're doing Sanrio upas, because imagine Sanrio, imagine this little ball with the cinnamon roll ears, or like the Hello Kitty ears. Now that we're done talking about the Sanrio part, I want to talk about some other things real quick, which is maybe not that interesting, but it, it, it's stuff that I was thinking about, is that this is a 10th anniversary thing. Now, they also made special 10th anniversary pins, which I thought was really cool, because it is the lab member pins, but the box has like a little 10th anniversary Steinsgate on it, which is really awesome. But if you go to the Steinsgate site, and not the actual site, but like Okabe's site, the site that Okabe made in the show or in the visual novel that then is also a real life website, which you can go to, they are showing other products for the other events, which is 11th anniversary. Now, obviously I thought the 10th anniversary was a big thing because 10 is a big milestone. Now 11 is less interesting, but they are also selling 11th anniversary pins, which is the exact same art like the 10th anniversary, but the 10 is an 11. What is my opinion on that? I don't really like that because that means they're going to do that for every single year they have an anniversary. And if I want to buy all of those, I'm going to end up having 20 different pin set, which are all the same pins, but a different print on the box, which is pretty lame. I would keep it at the 10. I just wanted to put that out there. But yeah, next videos I'm going to make are probably going to be Kamen Rider videos because I have a lot of stuff that I haven't reviewed yet. I am. Very sorry if you're here for the Stan's Good stuff. We are going to get you that Sanrio stuff so we can get you a cool and awesome video, period. Now what you can do is go to Instagram because I have been gone for a long time, but that doesn't mean I haven't been busy. Now what I'm making, and you, you might have seen some of that on my channel and thought, what is this? Is I'm, I'm making a web series with my friend on Instagram for some reason. So if you want to see that web series, it's about my friend Stein, who has been invaded by an evil timeline version of himself, Evil Stein. And that Stein is trying to pretty much take over normal Stein's world. And now there's a full on Stein war where Steins from all different timelines join forces or get together to beat the, the opponent. It's really interesting. If you want to see it, it's recorded from both sides. So every time we upload either a video on Detective Stein or the normal, the good Stein, and then next week we upload a video on Evil Stein, and it's all from their perspective. Now, if you're interested in that, you can follow us on either at the Stein, you know, or at the Evil Stein, you know. You can do it if you want to. I'm just. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Edu Pusai Kung Lo.